Amazing science and technology. Best ice or levitating, floating, wireless portable Bluetooth speaker technology. With the levitating ice or Bluetooth speaker, we now take your music experience to a whole new level, not only in terms of portability. but also in terms of sound quality and clarity. The ICE Orb comes with a high quality speaker system, which lets you play songs at high volume without even the minutest of distortion. The white glossiness of the ICE Orb Levitating Speaker Plus, the blue LED, Produce a futuristic feel and surrounding for your living room and your office. It also features the next generation revolutionary technology of dynamic stabilization mechanism. That allows you to stabilize the floating orb by watching the flickering of four blue indicators. When you do so, in addition, special sound guide cone helps increase 3D surround effect while there is a built-in USB port. That acts as a tablet and smartphone charging hub. It is a fine and fitting novelty item to have in your clean office environment. How do you make a levitating speaker float? Hold the speaker orb with both your hands and put your fingers under the speaker orb to ensure a firm grip. Then move the speaker orb vertically downwards towards the center of the base. When you feel a strong force, which is holding the speaker orb from the base, this position is the levitation position. How does the floating speaker work? Levitating speakers use magnetic levitation, or maglev, which occurs when an object suspends in midair, using only magnetic fields for support. Strong magnets in both the speaker and the base create oppositional forces that counteract gravity and allow the speaker to float a few inches from its base. What's inside a levitating speaker? The speaker perfect ball shaped and has an internal battery that powers the Bluetooth speaker system. It also has a magnet inside as part of the levitating function. Once placed in the middle of the base, the speaker floats and rotates. You can spin it, and it will keep spinning, for hours. Silicone skin, 3D printed, realistic animatronic heart. There were no particular requirements, with the printing, only that the, components be reasonably high resolution, and high strength. The only parts, which required supports, were, the shell parts. The base is comprised of two separate parts, which must be joined together. It's totally possible to print them as one part, but much easier to just join them afterwards. These bases can simply be glued together and lined up using two M2X 10mm screws. 
Insert all three servos into the base. Starting with the bottom pair, feed the wires through the slots in the base component. If you're using DS843mg servos, use the small plastic adapter, which will allow you to use M2 screws in the M3 holes. The top servo is a little trickier, you will need to remove the base of the servo where the wire protrudes from, in order to fit the servo into its place. The design only has room for one screw to hold the top servo in, but the servo should be tight enough in the base that it will be very secure. Construct the arms. Using a servo horn, which has been cut down to only two holes, attach two long link components on the furthest hole from the center and screw it in. Take an opposing pair of arm components and screw the long links to them on the flat sides. Check the images to make sure everything goes together right, and be sure to leave it loose, enough to move freely. Construct the top servo linkage. Using a two-sided servo horn, again cut to leave only two holes per side, attach a short link on the outermost holes. Another two of these M2X 4mm screws go into the short links the upside way to connect to the rocker component later on. Prepare the servo driver board. Solder a positive and negative wire roughly 40 centimeters long to the power supply input of the servo driver board where the junction box would normally go. This is necessary because of the limited space within the assembly. Attach it to the base on the left side, you can use M3 screws, or, alternatively, you can use M2 screws with a bolt on the end. Taking the 3D printed sculpting base, glued or taped together, your heart design can be sculpted over this form. Before sculpting, you should also attach a piece of wood, or, similar to suspend the heart, in the casting chamber. You can use any type of plasticine, or, clay to make the sculpture, so long as it won't interfere with, the casting silicone. Remember, it doesn't need to set hard, so I'd recommend some regular plasticine, or something like chavant clay, if you have it. When you're ready to cast, use a good amount of liquid mold, release in the mold, and allow it to dry. Mix up the amount of silicone you need according to your sculpture plus a little extra to be safe, and a bit of red iron pigment 